Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video on these very inexpensive palettes. They I picked them up for $2.99 and I got six of them. Some of them are hit or miss. Um, well, they are hit or miss. Some of them are very pigmented, others not as much, but we're gonna go through each palette. I'm gonna show you some swatches and tell you my feelings on them. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so the palettes that I'm talking about are the new Nika K um, nine pan eyeshadow palettes. Um, they they go they're on the website for three ninety nine, but in my local beauty supply store, I got them for two ninety nine. So they look like this, and this one here is the Sugar Plum palette. So this is what the shades look like. Very beautiful. Okay. Now these are the swatches for the Sugar Plum palette. As you can see, this one is not the most pigmented palette. Some of them appear like they will be patchy, like um, this shade right here. Looks like it might be a bit patchy. Um, but I mean, it's a pretty palette. I mean, for three or four dollars, you know, you can't really complain. Um, I haven't played with this one yet, but I'm going to see if I can make it work. So I'll update you guys on how this palette works for me. Next, we have one of my favorites, and this is the Autumn Spice palette. This palette is so pretty. And it actually performs very well. I haven't played with any of the shimmers yet, but the mattes in this palette are really good. So let me swatch these for you now. Okay, so these are the shades from the Autumn Spice palette. Now, as you can see, this palette is a lot more pigmented. Um, these two, I swatched, it's the same color. I swatched it twice. I don't know how that happened, but either way. Um, this shade is a little, it's not very pigmented, but the shimmer is beautiful. This orange shade is is pretty pigmented. The shimmer is amazingly beautiful. The whiter shade is has has some pigment, and then we have um, this shade which is pretty pigmented. Now the brown in the Autumn Spice palette not great at all, as you can see. I mean, it's really not pigmented. And then this last shimmer palette um, color is really pretty. And this one's okay, but it looks like it may be a little bit patchy. But now I did play with the Autumn Spice palette on the eyes, and it does perform well. Um, I dipped into I dipped into this brown shade here and the two orange shades when I played with this palette and oh my goodness so pretty they blend well too for for three dollars three or four dollars these blend really well okay so the next palette is Mocha Mix looks like this bunch of beautiful brown tone shades in here and some shimmers um, if I remember correctly when I did swatch this it wasn't that pigmented at all so i'm going to show you some swatches now so you can see for yourself okay so here are the swatches now i know you see some pigment here but the shimmer colors perform well in this palette but as you can see with the mattes they are pretty patchy or they just really don't show up like this one really doesn't show up this one really doesn't show up and there is a color here it's another brown color the shimmers in this palette though are amazing so for three or four dollars if you want to pick it up just for the shimmers i think it's worth it and again this is what this palette looks like it's beautiful so also i think i forgot to mention but i picked up these palettes in the local beauty supply store and um i don't regret it they are so worth it okay so this next palette is called birthday cake and it looks like this these colors are really, really pretty. I don't remember how they per they looked when I swatched them. And the only color I've used in this palette is this red down here. And this red is so, so pigmented. And this is probably my favorite color. Like I can pay three or four dollars for this palette just for this color alone. Doesn't bother me at all, but we're gonna swatch them and see how they look. Okay, so these are the swatches of the birthday cake palette. As you can see, the red I was telling you about, pigment, very pigmented. Okay, next we have the shimmer shade. Then we have this color here, which looks a little patchy. Then we have the pink, and then the yellow barely showed up. Um, this blue, um, another, this looks reddish, but it's, a, it's like a pinkish reddish shade. And then we have this purple, and then we have this pink. So this is what the birthday cake palette looks like when you swatch again i haven't used this one well i have used the red one on the eyes is very pigmented and it, it does perform well um the other colors i haven't played with yet okay the next palette i have here is called under the sea and it looks like this 
beautiful beautiful shade this one i haven't swatched yet i well i have swatched it but i don't remember what i think i think i was in love with this color the most in this palette and of course these oranges but they're also in the autumn fall palette they're very similar so it's almost a repeat but it's fine with me and i believe this brown was pigmented but i'm going to show you right now okay so here are swatches of the under the sea palette this is my absolute favorite color in the palette which is this green shade right here. It's like a mint green. I'm not great at explaining colors, but that's what it looks like to me, a mint green. It's so pretty. This is pretty, the blue shimmer, the, I'm sorry. This is pretty, the blue shimmer is pretty. This, this is a gorgeous color as well. The purple looks patchy. The orange is, is okay. This one's more pigmented than this one, as you can see. The yellow one, it shows up, but it's still not much. The brown one's pretty good. Um, this one looks, I don't know. Okay. And last but not least from these palettes is the Poison Apple palette. And it looks like this. This one is beautiful. I love this, this palette. It's so pretty. Um, it has this. So this is a palette I used on my eyes today. So I used this red and this deeper red on my, um, for my eyeshadow. And then on my, the shimmer I used as this one. And this palette is amazing and performed great. Okay, so these are the swatches from the Poison Apple, which is also, is my other favorite in this line of palettes. And as you, if, if you can't see why, then, <laughs> I mean, look at these colors. Look how beautiful this shimmer is. Look how pigmented these reds are. Um, this one is the only one that seems to be a little patchy or a lot patchy but um this shimmer is gorgeous okay so overall i believe these palettes are so worth it um they're not all favorites you know they don't all perform i mean if there's any that i would say you should maybe skip out on i would skip out on probably mocha mix because the thing that drew me to this palette the most were the brown shades in here and they're really not that pigmented at all so I don't know. I mean, I would pass on this one, but I'm still going to play around with it and see if I can get a good look at it. All out of it. Also, the Sugar Plum Palette. This palette looks really beautiful. The shimmers are okay, but the mattes in here. And if I can't, if I can't get a full look out of a palette, then honestly, I don't waste my time with it. So that's how I'm, re you know, reviewing them. So the Sugar Plum Mocha Mix I'd probably skip out on. Um, the Birthday Cake and Under the Sea. These two palettes have shades in them that, you know, some are great, some are okay, some just suck. But overall, um, I would still get these for the price. I mean, three or four dollars, you really cannot beat that for um, shadows that are gonna perform well. Now the Poison Apple and Autumn Spice. 100% recommend, 100%. Um, I know they have them online. Like I said, online they go for $4, but they're so worth it. If you can find them in your local beauty supply store, uh, pick these up. Wherever they sell Nika K, which I know are in beauty supply stores and maybe anywhere else that's close to you, pick them up. They're beautiful. These are pigmented, shimmers, and matte. Matte, so... And these are... And obviously these are perfect for fall and winter. So I would definitely pick those up. Okay, so that's all for today's video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be reminded when my videos are posted, you'll be notified. Um, also, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you'd like to see more like this. And thanks for watching again. Bye.